In this video, I wanted to present what it costs to do a typical touristy day in Barbados. Now, of course, you could spend hundreds, even thousands of dollars on luxury charters and catamaran tours, but this video will show you a more budget-sensitive itinerary to give you an idea of how you can have a full day of experiences without decimating your bank account. The following is an actual day that I did a couple months ago. All prices will be listed in Barbados dollars. Every day should start with a boost of energy, and for me, that's coffee. A French bakery lies along the West Coast Highway near where I live, so I grabbed a latte and a pastry to eat while heading to the nearby bus stop. Total cost, $21. Today I'm heading to the East Coast, Bathsheba specifically. I don't have my own car, so to get there, I have two options. Take the buses or take a taxi. The buses are much cheaper, but will take longer as they take a less directional route to get there. A taxi can drive straight across the island, but it will cost more. So the question you have to ask yourself is, would I rather spend time and save money, or spend money and save time? For me, I have all day, so I'm perfectly happy taking the buses and saving money. The bus from Spitestown to Bathsheba leaves once every two hours, so I used the transport board's website to make sure I arrived at the bus terminal shortly before the bus departed. When you're taking the bus anywhere, don't spend the whole time staring down at your phone. Part of experiencing Barbados is traveling through the interior of the island and seeing all the small communities with houses whose front yards are often filled with fruit trees. As the bus got closer to the eastern coast, we passed by the Scotland district, a geographically distinct part of the island. My first stop today is at Andromeda Botanic Gardens. Spread out over eight acres, Andromeda contains over 500 plant species and plenty of walkways to see it all. For $30, you can spend as much time as you want here, and the entrance fee allows for unlimited return visits for one month. It was a humid day, so walking through the gardens made me thirsty. Before I left, I stopped by the garden's East Side Kitchen Cafe and got a homemade lemon ginger lemonade for $10. From Andromeda, it was a short walk down to the coastline that takes only a few minutes. Unless you get distracted by the rows of banana trees growing in the local residents' backyards. The next part of my day was free and is a must-see for all visitors to Barbados, Bathsheba Beach. This is a place you may recognize from postcards, and I would say that Bathsheba Beach makes anyone look like a professional photographer. It is such a photogenic beach. You've got the palm trees, the green grass, and of course, the famous mushroom rocks. Originally formed by coral reefs, these rocks and their bases are slowly being eroded away by the waves. Bathsheba Beach isn't the only great beach in Barbados. There are 61 beaches on the island, and all of them are public and free to use. Free is my favorite price. After spending some time enjoying the waves crashing against the beach, I was ready to get a proper meal. For lunch, I went to Uncle Joe's Bar and Grill, which sits right across the street from the beach. I ordered a rum punch and a pan-seared fish platter, which came with a delicious macaroni pie and a salad. After tax and a tip, the total came to $60. Continuing my walk north along the beach, I came to another very famous part of Bathsheba, the abandoned beach house built right up against the ocean. I don't believe it's a house in the sense that somebody used to live there, the best answer I could get from the locals I asked was that it was originally a building used in connection with the railway that used to go through the area many years ago. A few steps further up the road, I stumbled upon a group of surfers. Barbados's east coast is known for having some of the best surfing in the world, so on a good day, you'll always see a group of people riding the waves and hanging ten. The last adventure in my day was visiting Joe's River Bridge and walking upstream along the river. I've already made a video highlighting what I saw, which you can find on my YouTube channel if you want a more in-depth view of Joe's River, one of only two above-ground rivers in Barbados. Just as it was on the way to Bathsheba, the bus back to Spitestown only comes by once every two hours so it's quite important to keep track of time while you're here. The day is coming to a close, 
And because we don't get a view of the sunset here on the east coast, it gets dark a little quicker than you might expect. Today was definitely a nature-heavy day. Andromeda Botanical Gardens, Bathsheba Beach, Joe's River. A lot of what I did today was free, which helped keep the cost of this day trip down. The total for everything was $135 Barbados, or $67.50 US. If these places seem interesting to you, I recommend that you take a day to explore the Bathsheba area. Because as beautiful as it looks in a video, it's always better in person. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.